Well, it's iris season. I'm with Ben. We're out at Shriners Iris, and Ben, the irises are starting to bloom. It looks like today you have a nice selection, and these are actually miniature irises, right? Yes, these are dwarf iris, the first ones to bloom. Um, so you kind of progress in height as you go. It starts with the dwarfs, that are these ones here, pretty short in height, then the intermediates, and then eventually the tall, tall ones, which will bloom here in May. So these are, you know, these are nice because they're just so compact and easy that you, know, you have them done up in, in pots and containers. And I think some people kind of forget that you could actually use these as a potted plant, right? Yeah, you can use any iris in pots, but dwarfs make especially good for pots. You know, their, their height sits well in pots. Uh, it's a nice splash of color early. And a great thing about pot is you can put the, the dwarfs in there, have them bloom, and then when they're done blooming, you move them off the patio. Right, or you go plant them in the yard or divide them out because they would make a great, like a border plant. Correct, plant borders, too. rock gardens, that sort of thing. And then you have, you have people that do have them in pots in containers or in, in the ground. You know, there's a little bit of care you want to take with, with an iris, either the dwarfs or the regular, right? You know. Yeah, so uh, you, know, like you definitely want a slug bait um, and you want to get on slug bait early so you don't have to have issues with slugs. Um, one thing when you have them in pots like this, you want to watch the water. You want to give them water, but you don't want to overwater. People tend to overwater uh, iris when they're in pots. Okay, and they'll, they'll just rot out that way. Correct, yeah. And, you know, and for people y'all you know, that are used to coming out, you know, we're out in your display gardens, which are just getting ready to start opening up and bursting in, into color. And you guys have your, your festival coming up, but you know, it's gonna be a little bit different this year, right? Yes, so last year we didn't open, this year we are opening, but it's online ticketing. So you need to either go on our website, shrinersgardens.com and select a time and a date to come. Um, or give us a call and we have a cap for, uh, for entry every two hours of 75 people. So Ben, when people come out to the festival, are pets welcome? Because I know Lily's pretty <laughs> excited to be out here. Yes, pets are definitely welcome. Well-behaved dogs uh, on leash are definitely welcome. <laughs> okay, and with their admission um, and their ticketing price, what all are they going to be able to do once they get out here? So we'll have the display gardens open like usual. We'll have the field uh, available for people who want to walk through the field, take pictures. We'll have a small gift shop, uh, cut flowers available for purchase, potted plants available for, for purchase. Uh, we won't have any you know, food vendors this year, no uh, wine tasting or uh, any other sort of entertainment. Okay. So a little bit different, but you know, the main attraction is coming out and, and view, viewing the irises anyway, right? So. Right, and especially since we weren't able to let people visit last year, we're excited to have them back this year. Yeah, and then uh, when is the festival running? It's going to be May 7th through May 31st. Okay, and so they can get on and go to your website and uh, all that information will be on there. Yep, shrinersgardens.com, you'll have uh, online ticketing available right there on the website. Right, you know, so for more information on the irises, anywhere from the, you know, the miniature ones on up to the, to the tall ones, or for their festival, make sure you go to the Shriners website or you can go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you open. So Ben, it's a pleasure. You know, we can't wait for the iris to start, start blooming. They're one of my favorites. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank you.